Hi everyone, welcome to the introduction for section 2. Really quickly, I know I normally don't do an intro to these things, but I just want to point out that section 2 will have fewer prep videos. I have marked in the description below with an asterisk which videos will not have prep videos. That said, let's take a look at what we're going to do in section 2. Hi everyone, Zach here, and welcome to section two of this tutorial. In this section, we will add in our inventory system. As you can see, none of the inventory slots are active because I have no items there. We will create test items. These are just two test items, the cube up there and also the capsules, and the capsule is down here. The reason for the multiple capsules, by the way, is just so I can test that items were being added correctly into our stacks. So I want you to also notice before we go further, my hunger is decreasing. I'm going to pick up 10 items there, 8 items there, 6, 4, 2, and 1. Which with our stack means I should have 25 in one and 6 in the other because our max stack size is 25. Notice we also get that pop-up. And now it doesn't have any details because we haven't added any details for this one. But notice that health bar now as I eat increases until I'm full and I can't eat anymore. All right. So we have a stacking system. We will also, if you notice, get prompts to pick up these items. In addition, we'll have some items that we can automatically pick up. I am now over encumbered, by the way, because um, this weighs a lot. You can see the text actually shows up for this one. So our meat-like product. We can split stacks. So I'll create a stack of five. We can discard partials. We can discard single items because there's only one there it just discarded unless they're spawning into the world we can discard entire stacks so we will have a functional inventory system by the end of this section now one thing i do want to point out is you will see this set up one other time with these three and that is at the end of video 12 because this is a very complex system we can't fully test it until very late into this section. Because we can't test it, you won't know if there's a bug for a while, unfortunately. And it's the easiest way to go about learning the system was the way I did it. At least that's the way I, the only way I could figure. So you'll have to trust that these functions work the way they're supposed to. I am telling you that they do because I have, well, edited it into video 12, the only major fix that was needed, which was getting rid of my very convoluted math. And I'm hopeful that, uh, well, I haven't fully edited it in yet. I have recorded the edit and I am hopeful to be able to edit out the incorrect stuff um, and only have the correct approaches in. But there are a lot of functions that are gonna be very complicated. Just give me an idea. These are all the functions we're creating in this section. And they can get very complicated so we will have to trust that they work, but we will be able to test them. Um, and I, of course, will be doing a review at the end as usual. But we should come out with a functional inventory system, as you saw earlier. So if you see an extra number randomly popping up, that's because I put a debugger in when I realized the mistake in video 12. By the way, this section ends at video 22. So we have a lot of videos to do to get our UIs and our uh, items and our inventory system all functional. That said, I look forward to seeing you in this section and hope that you enjoy this tutorial and have a wonderful day.